Hello engineers, in this video lesson you're going to learn how to make exercise 24. So open up Autodesk Inventor and start a new part. Make sure that your document settings are in millimeters for exercise 24. Click on 3D model, start a new sketch, and we're going to start on the XY plane for this one. Look at your view cube, make sure that your front view is facing forward in this orientation. Click on your line tool and then click on the origin point and we're going to go uh, to the right by 150 millimeters and then we're not going to dimension anything we're just going to uh, go up slightly to the left diagonally and click and then we're going to make a horizontal line uh, straight across like this don't go past the origin click and then close up by clicking on the origin so the most important dimension right now was this 150 that's going to set us up for our next set of dimensions click dimension click the bottom line click this top line move your mouse to the left and type in 70 so that's our height dimension click on this line we're going to make that 60 and then from this point, so find the point, you're gonna click on the point, and you're gonna find this point, you're gonna click on the point, move your mouse up and click, and that's gonna be 60. Once you have those dimensions placed, click offset, hover on the inside of your sketch, click and pull it inwards, type 10 and enter. Click Finish Sketch, click your home on your view cube, and we're going to extrude that in the other direction, so this direction, by uh, 100. 100. Sorry, that moment, I needed to look at this dimension here for the depth, so that's where I got the 100 from. Now, if you're looking at this example here, we have to cut out this section so we can do that from the bottom or the top I'm gonna do it from the top because this top view shows the dimensions that I need to make this cutaway so hover over the top of the part right click new sketch and what you're gonna do is we're gonna click on project geometry of this surface and this surface click rectangle and you're going to uh, don't snap your rectangle to anything so you're gonna draw a rectangle right here and pass the part so make sure not to snap it to anything click dimension click the top line and then this line of your rectangle and that should be 20 and then repeat that on the opposite side which should be 20 your length from this line to this edge should be 100 and then this should yeah that should be 60 yep except uh, from here to here that's gonna say 40 except yep all right so I think we're fully dimensioned and it's okay that our rectangle is past the part because we're gonna cut past the part so click finish sketch click extrude click cut through all and select those sketches and you'll see it cut all the way through your part and click OK and come back to the example it should look just like that alright so that's exercise 24 make sure you save it make sure you create the technical drawing and try to match my technical drawing so you're doing it correctly and uh, make sure you're exporting it as a PDF and submitting that as your assignment. Uh, so far, you should have done a ton of exercises and technical drawings. Make sure that you're printing all of your technical drawings and placing them in your portfolio, your binder, your engineering binder. And you should also, I highly recommend keeping a digital folder in your Google Drive of all of your PDFs and separate them by PDF and then you can have a folder where it's the IPT file and the DWG file. So if you haven't done that yet, 
uh, that would be a great thing to get started on so you could start building a really solid engineering portfolio uh, for modeling and technical drafting.